The book of Ruth begins in a dark and hopeless place. Verse 1 tells us that there is a famine in Israel, which indicates to us that the Israelites have turned their back on Yahweh. As we see in the last verse of Judges, it says that the people did what was right in their own eyes. So Naomi and her family moved from Bethlehem into Moab, pagan enemy territory in order to escape the famine. And while they were in Moab, Naomi's husband died, and she was left with her two sons, and both of them married Moabite women, which at the time, Israelite men were not supposed to do. This all took place over the course of about 10 years, but still within the first five verses, Naomi's two sons both died, leaving her with her daughter-in-laws, Ruth and Orpah, who were not from her homeland. Being a childless widow is not only one of the worst case scenarios, but especially at this time for women, they were completely desperate and hopeless. As Naomi heard of the barley harvest, she decided to return home to Bethlehem from Moab, and she gave both Ruth and Orpah a way out. She reminded them that she couldn't magically bear them new husbands and told them to return back to their families and wished them well. In verse 14, Orpah listened to Naomi's command and said goodbye, but Ruth decided to stick with Naomi. Ruth makes a beautiful and shocking commitment to her mother-in-law, who was just telling her to leave. In verse 16, she tells her, Where you go, I will go. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Up until this point, Ruth hadn't even followed the one true God, Yahweh. She had followed Moabite gods. This should show us that even in Naomi's great despair, Ruth saw Naomi repent of her sins and recommit her life to God. And in response, Ruth abandoned her pagan gods and turned to Yahweh for deliverance. So where there was once no hope, and Naomi said that she had been made empty and bitter by God, there was now hope in the harvest. And Ruth had hope that they would be delivered from their suffering in Bethlehem. There was hope in the Lord, despite the bitterness and the emptiness. And there was hope in the humble village in Judah that would play anything but a humble role in God's story of deliverance for His people. And out of Bethlehem is where Ruth's great-grandson, King David, would be born. And our eternal King, Jesus, would be born according to the prophecy in Micah 5. Verse 2, But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Verse 4, And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. <laughs> 